What is up? Welcome back to another Tim Tries. In these videos, I try out new tools that I haven't used before and I kind of use my experience in the field to just try them out, see how they feel, give you my experiences as I go along, including feedback, whatever positive or negative, I'm just gonna try. And so in this video, we will be trying Medusa.js, which is basically an open source version of Shopify. And that's what their co-founder, when we were on the phone the other day, told me. Like, it's kind of like Shopify, but if you want to do your own thing. And so I looked at it, and it's actually Shopify. It looks amazing. It works extremely well, I think, based on what I've seen on their website. And it doesn't have a front end. So that's where it's a bit different. So it only has APIs and stuff. And it's quite composable. They want to play in that field where you can just plug things in and it works. So let's go into the browser. Let's have a look at their website, see what they're offering. And just let's just build an example store together, see how that works. All right. So the open source Shopify alternative. Yes. That's, it's some decent marketing and it looks really good. And they have like almost 14K stars on GitHub. Very nice. And you can definitely see this is from developers for developers. It's very much like um, Node.js, JavaScript, CLI stuff, but you know, nice founders, executive backing, um, lovely numbers. It all looks good. This is cool. Um, so let's just go to the top and how about we just click start it? Let's see what this gives us. Let's see what the onboarding flow is like, because that's generally what makes me not like things if it just doesn't work. On the other hand, also, this is something that works. Um, you have to host it yourself. It's not a SaaS product. It's not in the cloud. You have to put it in the cloud yourself. And so there's some ideas about that that I have that I won't share now, but let's do that in the end. Let's see how smooth this goes first. Okay. Okay, so when a getting started page actually goes to a GitHub repository, that's when you know it's for developers, right? Rather than just going diehard like this, let's go in a quick start guide to see if they actually guide us through properly. Um, okay, so basically the same, but in a nicer format. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, um, let's just install the Medusa CLI. So here is my terminal. Um, let's rock and roll. So we'll just go from scratch. Okay, while this installs, let's have a look at what, what all this has to offer. So we have the Medusa CLI, and you can make a new store. And I imagine that this dash dash seed variable actually seeds the database with like some default product. So you can actually have something to look at. Um, I like that because when it's clean and you don't understand the content models, you don't have the data, how do you get started, right? You want to see some stuff. Um, okay, so... Oh, there it is. That worked. Um, well, I'm in the Tim Trice folder. Let's make a new Medusa store. Beam. Okay, so um, I'll let this download um, because my internet is not super fast. So let's see how long this takes. But let's go back to the browser and have a look at what else we get to do. Um, so this is literally the Medusa server. As far as I understand it, it doesn't include the admin panel. Right, so in that sense, it's um, it's a little bit like okay, we have just a base API layer that works. If you want to then change things, you need a separate admin, and there's also a separate front end, so it comes in these separate packages. And I assume this because I'm seeing you have to curl call this API to actually see if something comes out. Um, I don't have Python like this installed, so I'm going to do just like that. But first, we're going to have to start a develop server. Okay, we're in. Nice. Um, Medusa develop. Let's go. All right, so um, it says my Redis URL was not found. No, I, I didn't set up anything. But it said it's using a fake Redis, which is good for me. This is local development. We're just trying it out. So I'm assuming they're mocking all that stuff with the data and the database and such. So it's running on port 900. Um, how about let's try that curl call then. Let's see what comes out. Whoa. Something came out and it was fast. So I'm assuming this is a ton of products. Um, let's see what it does here. Oh, not with the curl inside, obviously. Okay, so this is JSON. These are a ton of products, a lot of data. Nice. Okay, that works. Um, then there's some other stuff, like some extra plugins, I guess, to, to deal with product images. And um, for now, I don't think we need this. 
Um, so it seems like our server is just running. So next steps could be add your front end or add your admin. You know what? I'm going to go for the admin because I kind of want to look at how this interface works. Let's have a look here. So what do we need to do? Install the admin. We literally just have to clone. Okay. We can do that. Um, let's go one back. And clone it into Medusa admin. Yep. Here she goes. Um, this one, we keep this one running. This is the server. Okay. So once this one is in, I think I just have to just do... Okay. We're just going to go in it, npm install it, and npm run it. Cool. npm install. It's interesting when I use warp, this terminal, actually the npm install sometimes goes slightly outside of the view. Um, but let's let that run. Um, it's all good. And then once it's in, we can just run start and it should work. And it has like, um, okay, so there's a little login here. Ah, look, this is interesting. Like the seed thing here, it comes back, right? Which means most likely they added this, the base user. Oh yeah, there it is. So there's an admin and a super secret password that we can use. So for right now, for like testing it out, this is all fine. So we're just gonna use this because the seed run was done in the install. That's why we had all the products, I think. Okay, so this is still running. You see, it's not that far just yet, but this is the cool thing about such a composable architecture. We can now just build the front end that talks to that Medusa backend that is already running while the admin is still building. So let's do that, right? Personally, I would have loved to see a Nuxt 3 front end, but that's quite new. So I, I assume it might come later. So let's go, let's just take the next JS one. Um, there you go. Nice little thing of how it looks. That looks great. Um, what do we need? We need the Medusa server. Yeah, exactly. So we can just use create next app. Okay, let's do that. So while this is installing, let's go and not be in here, but one back and just here. Okay, we're going to go for my Medusa storefront. Let's do it. So now we're going to install two things at the same time. Let's hope NPM is not too upset with me while I do that. Okay, so it's downloading the files from the repo and that's going to install. How about this guy? Okay, this is 50% there. This one, oh, it's doing pretty fast. Nice. I can imagine it's a pretty light front end, right? If it's just a demo. Okay, so it's building some stuff here. Yarn install has failed. Oh boy. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think when it's in the context of Yarn, my M1 Mac with its local Python install is not working. That's what I think is going wrong here. Um, I've had that before. Okay, so what I think I should do is go in, in the storefront, um, remove the node modules that it's already created with Yarn, and also what we should probably do is remove the Yarn log file and just do it with NPM. Let's see what this does. Oh no, it's, it's going right under the line again. Anyways, this is going. Okay, so now it seems like the, um, the admin is ready. While we are installing the front end, we go back to the admin and see what do we need to do to get that started. NPM run start. That's it, okay. We can do that, that's not too hard. Okay, so something's already running on port 7000, something else instead. Sure, go to another port, all good. Okay, so it's writing bundle stuff. What is this? Oh, wow, their admin is actually a Gatsby um, package, or it's a Gatsby product. That's cool, why not? Okay, so it, this is building its bundle. Has this been installed? Oh, it seems like it. Well, we're doing everything at the same time, but why not? This is composable architecture for you. So we're going to have to change the end file from the template to an actual local file. So we can just copy paste these things, I imagine. Um, and then we just run dev. So before we do that, let's just have a look at what we're dealing with here. Okay, so there are Cypress tests in it. Awesome. The env.local, that worked. So it just has a bunch of URLs of where it can, you know, grab stuff. Okay, all good. And this is just a relatively simple next project, I imagine. Well, it has lots of things. Nice. TypeScript. 
Good stuff. Like it. All right, so let's run it. So this is going to 8,000. And while I look at that, it seems like the admin is also running. Wow, we have everything at the same time today. Here we go. So something is a 404, but it's an Ajax call. So if you just close it, let me refresh. Okay, there's something with an Ajax call that it doesn't really like. But outside of that, here's a store. But I'm not... Oh, there's it's lazy loading the images. It's just relatively slow, it seems. Explore products. This is quite empty. But I'm wondering maybe that 404 that we just saw is giving us some issues here. Um, let's see what's happening with that admin. Oh, where were we? Here. So I just have to run start in the admin. Oh, it, we already did. So it's it's on 7001. Ah, so it showed you the interface and then it went to um, the login. Um, and it had the credentials. Where did it have these credentials? Yes. Let's go. Nice. Okay, we're in. So we have no orders, and that's the first thing it shows, which makes sense because orders are important, I guess. Um, products. And so this is what we got, I guess, with that seed property. So everything is here. We have 400 in stock of the Medusa sweatshirt. This is so simple and so clean. And then you can even see the raw data of the thing. So you can you know what comes out of it, the sizes, the variance. It looks like it's all there. Discounts, gift card, pricing, settings, regions. And I can imagine you can probably add like your shipping stuff and your pricing and your, you know, personal information, taxes, settings. It seems that this is awesome. And it was, you know, it kind of looked really um, chaotic because it's such an open system with multiple things that work together. It's really composable. So I was able to do this chaotically, just build them all at the same time and it just works. Right. Um, I still think I want to see products here. So I don't really know what that 404 is. Um, we might want to just restart it or something. And if that doesn't work, then it doesn't work and it is what it is. Um, let's see what other things, now that we have this all in place. So you can add an external search, it seems. There are some endpoint API key things. Um, and there's so much more that I haven't even touched. But just starting it up in the in the length of it that it took to make this video, we're up and running. So the one thing we would have to do is now, okay, so this keeps giving me a 404. It is what it is. Um, this is great. If you wanted to do something more than just have a Shopify and build your own thing and have it super flexible and change it and have it open source and make pull requests as a developer to this repo, you can. One last thought. I personally think it's pretty cool that it's not a SaaS product. So you can just hack around in it and it's open source and you go for it. On the other hand, for the ease of use, I would pay a couple of bucks a month for this thing to work in the cloud. So I don't have to do updates for versioning. I don't have to worry about scaling off my architecture. I don't have to worry about security. They'll do it. I'll just pay a couple of bucks for a good SLA and I'll be good to go. However, it doesn't have that now, but it might get it if there's enough people wanting it, I guess. Um, anyways, this was Medusa GS and this was Tim Trice and I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.